Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be exploring an interesting and controversial topic. Is it possible to make your phone charge quicker? And does the tweak battery ramp for jailbreak on iOS work? Well, we're going to run a few tests and find out. To ensure valid results, we're going to have a pretty tightly controlled setup. For details on the actual device, tweaks, and charger used, check out the description. We'll be doing 5 runs to compare between. For each actual run, the ambient temperature was controlled to be within plus or minus 1 degree Fahrenheit from 79 degrees. The phone was discharged to 15% for each run with Antutu benchmark, and the battery level was allowed to stabilize. The test started once the internal CPU temperature hit 35 degrees Celsius. Each time the device was charged up to 80%, which is when the test ended. During each trial, AOD, or always on display, was used to monitor battery level. This should have been a non-factor in the results, since it's an OLED panel, meaning all the black pixels are off, and plus it was kept consistent for all the runs. Now, a quick disclaimer before we get started, I am completely independent of the developer of Battery Ramp, and bought the tweak with my own money to test so that you don't have to. Your mileage with these methods may vary greatly based on your particular setup. Now let's get straight to it. Run 1, a standard setup with things like airplane mode and low power mode off, and with the case on. This will serve as our control. Run 2, the AOD tweak, settings and description with the case on, and at 50% brightness. Run 3, low power mode plus airplane mode with the case on. Run 4, low power mode plus airplane mode, this time without the case. Run 5, the battery ramp tweak with the case on. Unlike other runs, the battery monitoring built into the tweak was used to monitor levels at various increments throughout the test. Now, before we analyze the results, I spent my own money on this tweak, and it took a lot of work to be this meticulous. This is also my daily driver, so I essentially went two days without using my phone. So if you appreciate my hard work, then show me some support, smash that like button, and subscribe. So I am happy to report that the things we tried did make a difference. For starters, we can see that AOD does drain quite a big amount of battery, especially if you have as many elements as I have. But that was the point, a worst case scenario of sorts. Even though it took 45 minutes longer than our control, which is about 40% more time, it's still a super cool tweak and worth it in my book. Moving on, we can see that, surprisingly, low power mode and airplane mode were very effective, contrary to some of the myths out there, resulting in a decent reduction of about 24 minutes from our control, which is about 21% less time. Taking the case off for cooling didn't seem to do much, resulting in a marginal improvement from the same conditions with the case on of about 6 minutes or 7%. It's hard to say if that's statistically significant, as it very well may be within the normal variability. Finally, I am pleased to see that battery ramp, the tweak everyone seemed so skeptical about, actually does work. And it works well. 
While the gain over low power mode and airplane mode is small, it's still distinctly there, coming in at the 12 minute saving, or a difference of about 13%. That equates to a savings of 36 minutes, or 32%, over our control. So, as you can see, there are clearly effective ways to speed up your charging time. They aren't just myths. If you're on the edge about battery ramp, I say go for it. Although it'll be up to you to decide whether the benefits of slightly improved speed over low power mode and airplane mode, on top of the convenience of not having to manually enable those every single time, is worth the very reasonable price of $1.50. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, as I said this took a lot of work, so please go ahead and support me, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, you know the drill. But anyways, as I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.